hello guys welcome to my channel in today's video i'm going to be walking you through different diseases of catfish their causes prevention as well as cost effective treatment i'm going to show you how to effectively identify if there is a disease outbreak as well as the first step of action you need to take but if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe to this channel hit the bell notification icon and if you are getting value from my video please give this video a like and also leave a comment in the comment section fish diseases affect the survival and growth rate of fish in commercial fish farming system and drug treatment are expensive which makes farmers suffer hefty economic losses due to disease outbreak for a farmer to alleviate such economic losses is crucial to take precaution the ability of the farmer to prevent those diseases enhances better productivity let's look at the general causes of the fish diseases there are three major causes of fish diseases number one we have presence of environmental pathogens second we have low resistance of the fish stocked that is poor feed formulation unsatisfactory water environment so we have regular diseases prevention and control practices to prevent and control fish diseases we should maintain a good culture and prevent deterioration of water quality and also high nutrients in the fish feed to boost resistance of the fish how can we prevent the water environment from deteriorating there are two things you need to do to prevent water from deteriorating first of all do not overfeed as i have talked in my previous video the effect of overfeeding you can check some of the videos on this channel and the reg sec secondly is regular change of water so you need to be changing water once you start to observe that the water uh, is dirty or is cloudy it depends so as a farmer you know when to change water yourself the next thing we are going to look at is how to boost resistance of the fish under culture that is to be able to resist disease outbreak to boost their immunity first of all you must have to avoid overstocking as this makes the fish knocking against each other and often get surface wound secondly avoid feeding the fish with trash feed that cannot provide balanced nutrition that is feed that do not contain balanced diet that is balanced ingredients in it and then use dry pellets feed which is hygienic and low in bacteria add vitamins and minerals to the dry pellet feed to boost the fish immunity the next thing we are going to look at is how to observe and identify disease outbreak first you need to reduce you 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 start observing some things when there is a disease outbreak in your own farm and then among such things that you may begin to experience is there is a reduced feed intake this is the first sign of many fish diseases once you started observing this what you should do is start keeping daily records to ensure that you have sufficient information to compare with the general feed intake of that particular fishes so as this will tell you that yes there is a reduction in the feed intake they do not take as much feed as they do take uh, in the previous time secondly abnormal swimming pattern you start to see or you begin to see your fishes lying flat rubbing against the bottom or net cages or rubbing against the wall of the ponds or jumping out of the water or moving in a circle motion or losing buoyancy or balance all these are typical sign of the diseases and as a farmer you should observe this particular sign very well and the best time for this observation is early in the morning and in the late evening during feeding so when you are feeding your fish you must have to pay attention to how they behave as this will give you an insight of either they are comfortable or they are not comfortable so that is constant monitoring of the fish is very important as a fish farmer now let's look at the common fish diseases and their treatment as we have discussed some of the things we need to do as a fish farmer so now we are going to look at 
the common diseases and their treatment. But before we go into showing you these diseases, you can download our catfish diseases and treatment in the description of this video. This will be a guide that will teach you whatsoever you want to know on the catfish diseases as well as the treatment, the dosage of the drugs and everything that is important as a fish farmer for you to understand when it comes to diseases and their treatment. You can download it in the description of this video. And also, if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell notification icon. And also, if you are getting value from this video, please give this video a like and also leave your comment in the comment section. So, the first disease we are going to look at is crackhead disease in catfish. Crackhead disease is one of the devastating diseases in commercial fish farming. Causes of crackhead diseases in catfish. Crackhead is as a result of deficiency of some nutrient in the fish feed, such as vitamin C, vitamin D, calcium, and phosphorus in the feed. It is important that uh, these are the additives that I'm talking about on this channel when you check my other videos on catfish feed formulation. I said they are very important during feed formulation to add those particular feed additives. So these are some of the importance of it. It is also caused by a poor or lack of balanced nutrient. That is when you have a wrong feed formulation. That is, there are some missing ingredients in the feed, and then those ingredients are of nutritional value, and you don't have them in the feed. Definitely, you may, you may start to experience problem. And then you may start to... Uh, this can also be a cause. That is poor water quality and then overfeeding due to accumulated waste matter in the water and i also talk intensively on overfeeding your fish on this channel you can check out uh, some of my videos and then i have even uh, talked about how to measure the right amount of feed to feed your fish the right way on this channel so it is very important that you check some of these videos they will uh, help you a lot so we have some symptoms of the crackhead diseases. One, you, you will start to experience small pits on the head region, usually above the eyes. You will begin to see redness on the lateral line on the skull of the fish. Cause, causes death of the fish when the skull breaks completely. These are the symptoms of the crackhead diseases in fishes as you are seeing on the screen. What is the possible treatment? So the possible treatment for this is that all waste matters should be eliminated. That is, we are trying to maintain uh, the water quality. And then water quality should be monitored and feeding stopped for a few days. That is, you must have to stop feeding when once you started experiencing uh, a disease outbreak in your own stock. And then the next thing you should add is add vitamin C in the feed since we said this is as a result of what vitamin C. So you have to try as much as possible to monitor the water quality and as well as uh, add vitamin C in the feed to balance the lacking vitamin C in the feed which causes the uh, breakhead or the broken head or the crackhead in the fish. And then also maintain the optimal level of dissolved oxygen. That is, you must have to ensure that the level of dissolved oxygen is up to optimal in the water. And then also be careful with your pH and then minimize ammonia level in the pond water. I think I have to make some videos on, on how to go about uh, monitoring water quality, monitoring the dissolved oxygen pH and then the level of ammonia. Just subscribe to this channel as I promise to be giving you value on this channel. And then the next thing you do is supply balanced diet regularly. That is the feed that you want to feed your fish. You have to make sure that the feed is of balanced nutrient. The second disease we are going to look at is jaundice disease in catfish. Jaundice disease is a condition in catfish which shows yellow coloration in the abdominal skin. This occurs as a result of too much or excess bile pigment in the blood and the lymph which result to hemolytic anemia. Symptoms of jaundice disease in catfish. Yellow coloration of the skin and the gills, that is what you will start observing. You will start observing loss of appetite, that is the reduced feed intake. 
the fishes will refuse to eat even if you after you introduce the feet to them you will still come back and then meet uh, the feet floating on the water fish loss movement due to damage of the caudal fin increase in mortality rate that is a typical symptoms of a jaundice disease in catfish now what are the causes of jaundice disease in catfish first it occurs due to poor water quality you see water quality is the number one aspect and then secondly is high stocking density that is i have also talked about how to uh, stock your fish the right way on this channel make sure you check uh, some of the videos as you may find this very important and then stress also may result in jaundice diseases so what is the possible treatment of jaundice diseases in catfish first of all we have reduced the stocking density and how do you do that you check some of my videos i have explained that thoroughly improve water quality minimize fish stress during transportation or during sorting and this is uh, one of the major uh, areas where fish farmers especially beginners fail after sorting their fish uh, they keep on asking questions on facebook and other platforms that their fishes uh, don't eat after sorting once there is a stress it is not advisable for you to feed your fish i think this is not the right time for me to talk about this maybe i have to make a video on this too as this is another critical area the third disease we are going to look at is dropsy diseases in catfish these diseases occur as a result of kidney failure in fish it is a bacterial infection the causes of dropsy diseases in catfish number one we have stress due to overcrowding number two we have poor water quality so when when you observe some of the causes of these diseases is either feed or water quality that is why it is very important as a fish farmer when you want to start this business you must have to understand how do we go about accessing or monitoring the water quality as this will help you a lot in the business i think i will make a comprehensive video on this on how to go about monitoring the water quality and then we have the symptoms of the dropsy disease in catfish the number one symptoms we have fish body balloons outward as you can see on the screen we have behavioral changes and then loss of appetite you begin to see swelling eye or bulging eyes so these are the typical symptoms of a dropsy disease in catfish treatment of the dropsy disease in catfish that is the possible treatment the first thing you must have to do is isolate the affected fish in a hospital tank or in any tank that you have isolated in order to take care of uh, the infected fishes to make water changes easier now create a salt bath by adding no more than 2.5 tablespoons for every 10 gallons of water that is two and a half tablespoon now the salt may help to draw the excess water out of the fish body that causes it to swell so the number four disease we are going to look at is one of the most deadly catfish diseases and we call it white spot that is each disease white spot disease is one of the parasitic diseases that affect the lives of catfish and causes serious uh, effects it is caused by a parasite called the itch the disease always attacked its favorite position that is the fish body the gills and the fins each whitish spot you are seeing here is a clear indication of a tiny parasite so this is one of the most devastating catfish diseases it is very dangerous because it kills a lot it results to massive mortality in your own stock once there is an outbreak of it the symptoms you are going to observe is there is a display of white patches on the skin as you are seeing here on the screen there is a rubbing against hard objects as uh, the fish will start experiencing itching that is why it will keep on rubbing its uh, body against hard objects folding of the fin against the body as the fin is also one of the most affected area and then disordered swimming the fish swim to the surface more than the usual that is why it is very important as a farmer you should keep an eye 
on your fish to see how they behave and then i have talked about the best time to do this is when you go to feed your fish that is early in the morning or in the late evening when feeding and then we have the causes of the white spot diseases one of the causes is the temperature difference between the water entering the pond and the water in the pond so once there is a temperature difference in the water that is coming and then there is a difference in the temperature on the water that is inside the pond this is one of the reasons or, or the causes of the parasitic infection called the white spot and then secondly lack of uh, disinfection of the equipment that are used in the farm so if the equipments are not disinfected properly this may also be a cause of a white uh, spot disease that is a parasitic infection and it is very deadly now the possible treatment of white spot is that you get what is called a malachite green is considered as one of the effective drug for the treatment of white spot and catfish it helps the fish to get rid of the white spot quickly but the chemical is very strong overdosage will be dangerous and life-threatening dosage for the malachite green now the recommendation of the dosage because of the high concentrative nature of the chemical one drop of the malachite green in one gallon of water that is if you get the liquid one but if you get the malachite green in solid forms you need to dissolve it first before you use it and then how do you dissolve it use one teaspoon to 10 gallons of water that is uh, when preparing the solid malachite green so that is the possible treatment and the effective one of the white spot diseases in catfish i think i have to stop this video here because we cannot be able to exhaust catfish diseases in one video but if you want to understand everything about catfish diseases their causes symptoms prevention as well as possible treatment even cost effective treatment and even uh, how you can use some organic uh, supplements to be able to cure your own fish diseases as well as how to go about boosting the immune system of the fish you can download our treatment guide in the description of this video as this will help you to take you along step by step on what you need to do about uh, catfish diseases and their basic treatment it is very important that you get this guide as a fish farmer for you to achieve massive success see you in the next video